I was a big fan, to be honest with you. I was a coaching intern. I just followed him around and watched him. He had a magic about him. Probably the greatest receiver after the catch. He's got rise. He breaks loose. He's going to be gone. I don't think they can catch it. A play that seems to work every time they do it. I would prefer to catch a five-yard slant and go 95 yards any day. <laughs> almost like the hair is like standing up on your back because you know everybody is chasing you. If you're able to cross that goal line without getting caught, no, it's a great feeling. He's to the 10, touchdown 49 Jerry Rice is king of the mountain. 22,895 receiving yards, 1,549 receptions, 208 touchdowns, the most in history. No one else comes close. Rice dominated the record books, yet his true mastery was of preparation, mind, body, and soul. Who's number one in the NFL right now in your eyes? Who's number one in the NFL in my eyes? Okay, I played against him before too, but this past year it was different, you know what I mean? And I gotta give it to Tyreek Hill because there's nobody who's like, doing what he does, like, there's no one who's doing it. Guarded him a lot of years. It's still how crazy Tyreek Hill moves from point A to point B. Shout out to Marlon Humphrey, by the way. He walked up to me and said, hey bro, stop holding. I said, I got you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, it's gonna happen. You can build your offense around Cheetah. But we'll get going with a, with a Tyreek, uh, blaze out here like he's not the biggest receiver which makes it even crazier that he's able to demand so much attention every game plan has to be centered around him you just can't cover him you know that you tweaking okay because baby i'm him i be on 10 two stepping in the party i do not dance watch how i move make it look easy counting up wins that's part of the plan black man taking up my head as a cc that can't fail i'm gonna the reason why repeat i'm knee deep need a dub that's it you seek me i'm too sick yeah i know i make it look easy 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 yeah, tell them don't try to play me. Yeah, 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 I'm drippy on the daily. They can never count me out. They can never count me out. I know. They can never count me out. They can never count me out. I know I make it look easy. Make it look, make it look easy. I know I make it look easy. Make it look, make it look easy. I know I make it look easy. Too smooth, I make it look easy. I know we make it look easy. Make it look, make it look, make it look. I know Love, I'm shoot my shot, better play up. Make it look easy, that's a layup. Ugh. Bad man, bad man. Why they wanna be like me, a sad man? Two wavy, swallow your pride. All of my guys, call them they slide. They will oblige. <laughs> Caught them, I told them you playing with me. Now look, all of them starting to riot. Whoa, huh. When I'm in your city, it's magic. When I'm all in my bag, it gets tragic. When I see what I want, gotta have it. I can't let up, they made me a savage. I can't slow down my foot on the gas, yeah. Going way up from where I was last, yeah. I'ma make it look easy, that's it. I know God got me, he yeah, got my back. These blessings falling in my lap. I came up, give it all I had. Rep my city, put them on my back. Hit my shots, I miss dog. Straight up, I'ma let them know I don't fall. Make it look easy and they know. There's only one way for us to go. Can't hold me back, I'm going way up. Tell them they can never play up. No. Ain't no stopping me now, no. Ain't no stopping me now, no. Ain't no stopping me, ain't no stopping me, ain't no stopping me now, no. Yeah, straight in my lane when they got it, I make it. I know that they mad when I swerve out a lot. Thinking the plot. They did not get the picture when I said I don't fit in a box Taking they shots and they know that I ain't missing And it's up if they hand me the rock I feel like a Rubik's cause they confused with how I line it up I see a lot of track guys that play football hey, That are too not easy. that fast Yeah, he's like the only one that's coming out of the box Don't give me your reason I'm a bad guy, I see the camera pieces When I'm done, they gon' pick up the pieces And you know we ain't losing this season It's the reason why they hating on me Cause you know that I'ma make it look easy bro, bro. Ain't no stopping me now, no
Hall will swing it quickly. This is Nakua, his third touch. He has the first down. He is in open field. Puka Nakua will score. Pump fake. Hall throwing deep. Receiver there. It's pulled off. Up into the end zone. He holds on. Is it a touchdown? Yes, it is. And you've done your job. All with time. Has a man open. Nakua. Side Hall in the gun on the jet sweep. Puka Nakua with space and Nakua across midfield. Nakua breaking away. Roll pressure. He throws incomplete. You asked for him, in. but Stanford will have the ball to begin the second half. First things first, they got to hold the fort here on defense. Nakua spins away, spins away a second time. Shit of the night. He'll get it here on the quick screen. Nice move. Puka Nakua. Third down and 10. Hall, the quick release. Nakua has it to spin in the first down. Alta Tech has other ideas. This is a team that's hot right now. Hall throwing it to Puka Third and three. It's Nakua. And Nakua on the jet sweep. Sixth. I mean, the thing with BYU is he tested really poorly. I think, man, he's he's got a Alec Ogletree in him. Couldn't test well, but can chase the rabbit. Alec could run, but he could never run a forty. But if you said go race, well, his, his speed is playing as fast. I've always said is, I mean, that's he's got. If I go sort by miles per hour, he would be one of the top receivers. Like, I think this guy would be really good for us, Les. I want a guy that is going to be where he's supposed to be, that'll stay grounded through the catch, aggressive hands, that will dig out support in the run game, and then that we can also give him, he can be an extension of the run game. Jeez, take the whole drive. This guy can be a functional piece of an offensive operation. He's a tough kid. To me, he showed, all right, there's a ten tenacity and a toughness and a fight, and if you teach him technique, he'll be able to. 
I mean, we're about to have a nice little run here. Oh, that it is. No doubt. Like, to move back, you're not. You know we got the, the guy you want to, you got a vision for. Totally. We're going to nail that there. Do you want to trade back? Ha, ha, ha. Hey, Puka. Hello. You doing all right? Uh, doing good. Life is good. <laughs> Well, here's what I want to say. What if we draft you with the 43rd pick here in the fifth round? That make your day a little better? <laughs> that, that would make my day great. That would be amazing. All right, then. Well, let's make your day, and I'm going to pass you over to your new head coach. Oh, sweet. Puka. Hello. How you doing, man? This is Coach McVay. Doing good, doing good. Hey. Coach McVay. We're, we're fired up, man. We love the way you compete. Uh, you know, there's so many different things you can do and, and the way we can utilize you. So we're excited, man. Think you're going to be a great fit. You'll be able to learn from one of the best in Cooper Cup. And uh, well, congratulations. Can't wait to get to work with you, buddy. Thank you so much, Coach. I'm excited to get to work. Number 32, sophomore, Taggart Barden. Taggart Barden is from Durango, Colorado. He attended Durango High School, the class of 2023, and played varsity football for coach Todd Casebeer. Barden was named first team all-conference and special teams player of the year. He averaged 25 yards per kick return and 16.1 yards on punt returns. Barden also caught 21 passes for 340 yards and seven touchdowns. He also played baseball at Durango. At Colorado, during the 2023 season, it doesn't appear he had any game action as no stats are available. Pearson calling out the charge. Second half, Riverside up 21-3, receiving the second half kickoff. Ronald Coleman takes it at his 20, and there he goes. Finally pushed out of bounds of the OP-22, a 58-yard return. Number 45, freshman Ronald Coleman II. Ronald Coleman II is from Jacksonville, Florida. He attended Riverside High School in Jacksonville, Florida, and played varsity football under coach O.J. Small. The 2024 season will be Coleman's first season at Colorado. Generals back to work. They made a switch at quarterback. Here comes Daniel Plummer. And with the pass to Ronald Coleman in the flat, and he's trying to make things happen, but you've got to protect the ball. He puts this one on the ground, but no harm, no foul. He's able to push it out of bounds. Later in that same drive, Plummer, to Coleman, this time in the end zone. That's for the touchdown. Riverside extends the lead 14 to three and the Generals win 28 to three. Their first win is Riverside. Number five, senior Jimmy Horn Jr. Jimmy Horn Jr. is from Sanford, Florida. He transferred to Colorado in 2023 from the University of South Florida. At South Florida, he played in 23 games, registering 67 receptions for 959 yards and four receiving touchdowns with 14 rushes for 107 yards and a rushing touchdown. He added 16 kick returns for 323 yards, averaging 20.2 yards per return and a touchdown. In 2022, he played in 11 games with 37 receptions for 551 yards and three touchdowns, adding seven kick returns for an average of 29.9 yards and one score. In 2022, he was named the first team all AAC as a kick returner by the coaches. In 2022, he had four games with 100 plus all purpose yards. He played in 12 games with five starts in 2021 with 30 receptions for 408 yards and one receiving touchdown. At Colorado, Jimmy Horn Jr. was one of two buffs to play and start in every game during the 2023 season. He recorded 58 receptions, 567 receiving yards, and six touchdowns for CU. He was second on the team in receptions with 58, third in receiving yards with 567, and led Colorado in receiving touchdowns with six. His season at career high was 11 receptions against TCU in his debut as a buff. He threw his first career passing touchdown to Dylan Edwards on a 30-yard completion. I have a full profile of Jimmy Horn Jr. on my channel. 30 yards on a tremendous design play. And wide open was Dylan Edwards. 
the freshman running back. Number 12, athlete, junior, Travis Hunter. Travis Hunter is a two-way star with the CU Buffs who plays both cornerback and wide receiver. For the season, on offense, he appeared in nine games and has 721 receiving yards and five touchdowns. His longest reception was 47 yards in the game against Arizona on November 11, 2023. I have a full detailed profile on Travis Hunter on the cornerback's video on my channel. Number 47, redshirt freshman, Gavin Marsh. Gavin Marsh is from Chesterfield, Missouri. He attended Marquette Senior High School, the class of 2023. At Marquette, he played varsity football for head coach John Tiziani. In two seasons, Marsh had 140 receptions for 2,271 yards and 27 touchdowns in 23 games. In his senior season, he recorded 62 receptions for 1,284 receiving yards and 15 touchdowns to help lead them to a 10-2 record. He was named first team all district after being second in receiving yards in Missouri with 1,284. At Colorado, during the 2023 season, he did not see any game action. Number 13, sophomore, Caleb Mathis. Caleb Mathis is from Arlington, Texas. For high school, he attended Grace Prep in Arlington, Texas, the class of 2023, and played varsity football as both a wide receiver and cornerback. At Colorado, during the 2023 season, he played in all 12 games and did not start in any games. He has six total receptions for 38 yards. His longest reception was 14 yards at Utah in week 12. He recorded one total tackle at TCU in week one. Um, you mentioned Omarion Miller uh, from North Caddo, and he's he's a name to look out for. 2023 guy, 6'2", 196, the top 250 recruit in the country, number nine recruit in Louisiana. Um, so he's actually, his head coach, Reagan Smith, coached Terrence Marshall as well, uh, Terrence yeah, Marshall, yeah. And, and and he actually said that what he thinks, that Omarion's ceiling is potentially higher than even that higher. of Marshall? Yes, he said that yesterday. Um and and he knows Terrace well. He he, he saw him, uh, you know, in North Louisiana growing up and uh, watching his high school days. And obviously, he knows what he did at LSU. Yeah, Omarion is special. He's a freak athlete. Can jump out of the building. Um, and I think LSU just wanted to see what he was going to do at camp. I mean, obviously, they had been talking to him. He's got a couple offers from Mississippi State, Miami. Um, he really he really just started taking off this spring. He he joined the bootleggers, the seven on seven squad, wow. and kind of really took off. If you put the ball anywhere in his vicinity, he's going to go up and get it. He made an incredible catch yesterday that, if I'm not mistaken, I'd have to go back and ask ask his coach. But I, from what I hear, it sounds like after this catch that he kind of hangs in the air and grabs the ball. I think Coach O offered him right after that, like in the middle oh. of the <laughs> kind of unheard of. Uh, yeah, we so. just played it from, I think it might have been your video from yesterday or from this weekend, and it is uh, – it, it, it's a sight to behold. It's a hell of a play. Number four, sophomore, Omarion Miller. Omarion Miller is from Vivian, Louisiana. He attended North Caddo High School. At North Caddo High School, he played four seasons under coach John Cavanaugh. He finished his career with 154 receptions for 3,492 yards and 43 touchdowns in 30 games, averaging 116 0.4 yards per game and 22.7 yards per catch. He also had 16 rushes for 193 yards and three touchdowns on offense, four kickoffs for 188 yards, including a 98-yard touchdown, one punt return for 70 yards, and two interceptions for 127 yards, one of which he returned for a touchdown, giving him 4,070 
all-purpose yards, and 48 touchdowns. On defense, he had 10 tackles, two interceptions, and two pass breakups. His senior season, he had 49 receptions for 1,183 yards and 15 touchdowns in 10 games, averaging 118.3 yards per game and 24.1 yards per reception. He has seven 100-yard games in 10 games, including a 20-yard performance against Navelle and seven receptions for 243 yards and three touchdowns. He added 16 rushes for 193 yards and three touchdowns, including one 100-yard game. He added 115 yards on kick returns, 70 on punt returns, and 127 on interception returns for 1,688 all-purpose yards. Miller was named the 2022 Shreveport Times Male Athlete of the Year for his standout abilities in both football and basketball. At Colorado during the 2023 season, he played in 10 games starting in two against Arizona State and Oregon State. He recorded 11 receptions for 234 yards and one touchdown. He burst onto the scene against USC when he had seven catches for 196 yards and a touchdown. With his performance against the Trojans, he was named Pac-12 Player of the Week. He had the most receiving yards in a game by a Colorado freshman. He had the most receiving yards in a game since K.D. Nixon in 2019. He had the most receiving yards by a Colorado player against a ranked opponent. He had the most receiving yards by a Colorado player against Southern Cal. He had the eighth most receiving yards in a game. I have a full profile of Omarion Miller on my channel. Number 80, redshirt freshman, Jordan Onovue. Jordan Onovue is from Santa Ana, California. He attended Modern Day High School, the class of 2023. Modern Day High School is a private Catholic co-education secondary school in Santa Ana, California. Modern Day is nationally known for his strong sports programs, especially in football. In 2023, it was ranked first in the United States for best high schools for athletes by school review company Niche. At Modern Day, Jordan played varsity football under coach Bruce Rollingson. In three seasons, Modern Day compiled a 29-1 record and won 29 straight games, going 5-0 in the COVID-shortened 2020 season before having a perfect 12-0 record in 2021, winning the CIF state championship while being named the top team in the nation by Max Preps, USA Today, and High School Football America. In his career, Jordan had 51 receptions for 576 yards and four touchdowns. As a senior, he compiled 46 receptions for 517 yards and four touchdowns. He opened the season with a pair of 100-yard games, catching eight passes for 105 yards and a touchdown in a 42-0 win over West, and then having eight catches for 117 yards and a touchdown in a 24-21 win over Bishop Gorman. He had four or more receptions in eight of 13 games. He also returned kicks and punts for modern day. In the 2020 and 2021 season, he combined to have five receptions for 59 yards. At Colorado, during the 2023 season, he played in the last four games of the season and redshirted. Number 85, redshirt freshman, Jacob Page. Jacob Page is from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. He attended Blackman High School, the class of 2023. At Blackman High School, he played his senior season under coach Chandler Tiger after transferring from Innsworth, where he played for coach Rock Batten. Career numbers are 67 receptions for 1,250 yards and 13 touchdowns. 
while also returning punts and kicks for another 142 yards for 1,392 all-purpose yards. During his senior season, he had 27 receptions for 470 yards and three touchdowns for Blackman, helping the team to a 10-3 record. In a three-game stretch against Riverdale, Summit, and Stewart's Creek, he caught 21 passes for 375 yards and two touchdowns. He was named to the Nashville Tennessean Dandy Dozen as one of the top 12 prospects in the Nashville area. During his junior season, he led Innsworth in receiving with 39 receptions for 763 yards and 10 touchdowns. He also played basketball in high school. At Colorado, during the 2023 season, he did not see any game action and redshirted. Number 82, redshirt freshman, Kendall Stewart. Kendall Stewart is from Richmond, Texas. He attended Foster High School, the class of 2023. At Foster High School, he played three seasons of varsity football for head coach Shane Hanks. He recorded 69 receptions for 1,238 receiving yards and seven touchdowns over three seasons. His senior year, he recorded 27 receptions for 373 receiving yards and two touchdowns. He was named the second team all district wide receiver. At Colorado, during the 2023 season, he did not see any game action and redshirted. Number 82, Junior, Terrell Timmons Jr. Terrell Timmons Jr. is from Greensboro, North Carolina. He transferred to Colorado in 2024 from North Carolina State University. At North Carolina State University, he played in all 12 games in 2023. He finished the season with 11 receptions for 195 yards, with his longest going for 47 against Marshall. He had three catches for the Wolfpack in his true freshman season in 2022, and all three were highlight film worthy. He saw action in nine games, including the last seven. He caught his first touchdown pass, a 28-yarder, in the victory over North Carolina. I have a full profile of Terrell Timmons on my channel. Number 28, redshirt freshman, Asad Wasim. Asad Wasim is from Apopka, Florida. He attended Akoi High School, the class of 2023. At Akoi High School, he played as a senior under coach Aaron Shepard. Also played his junior season at West Orange High School in Winter Garden, Florida, and as an underclassman for two seasons at Wakiva High School in Apopka, Florida. He was the 4M Player of the Year for the state of Florida. He finished his prep career with more than 3,500 all-purpose yards and 38 touchdowns, coming up with 185 receptions for 2,960 yards and 40 receiving touchdowns, along with four rushes for 31 yards and one touchdown on offense, and 664 return yards on special teams, with a kickoff return touchdown and one interception return for 12 yards. He helped McCoy to a 33-15 record, including a 20-7 mark as an upperclassman. During his senior season, he was the leading receiver for Akoi, which made an appearance in the Florida 4M semifinals. He caught 82 passes for 1,481 yards and 20 touchdowns and had two rushes for 20 yards offensively. He added 343 kickoff return yards and one touchdown, 276 punt return yards, and had an interception return for 12 yards, giving him 2,004 all-purpose yards. At Colorado, during the 2023 season, he played in two games. He made his college debut on the road against Washington State on kickoff return. He had one kickoff return for nine yards against Utah in the final game of the season. Number 10, senior, LeJonte Wester. LeJonte Wester is from Palmetto, Florida. He transferred to Colorado from Florida Atlantic University in 2024. At Florida Atlantic, from the 2020 through the 2023 seasons, 
He played in 45 career games and recorded 252 receptions, 2,703 receiving yards, and 21 touchdowns. Wester added two rushing and one punt return touchdown. He was named first team wide receiver and third team punt return all AAC by Phil Stills Magazine. Also earned third team punt returner and fourth team honors by Athlon Magazine. He was named the American Athletic Conference Special Teams Player of the Year and earned first team honors at both wide receiver and special teams. He was named FWAA First Team All-American as a punt returner. He received Hero Sports Group of five First Team All-American honors as an AP. Phil Stills Magazine Second Team All-Conference honors. Finished the season with 108 receptions for 1,168 receiving yards and eight touchdowns. Added one rushing and one punt return touchdown. He finished seventh in the country in receiving yards. On FAU's sixth play versus Clemson, he collected a five-yard pass to become FAU's all-time reception leader and then went on to tally 12 receptions, recording his first double-digit back-to-back receptions night. He ended the game with a game-high 12 receptions for 108 yards. He had a huge day setting game, single season, and career records at UAB with 11 catches for 219 yards and three scores while adding a three yard rushing touchdown. He finished the 2022 season with 62 receptions, 719 receiving yards, and eight touchdowns. He was named Honorable Mention Conference USA for both wide receiver and punter. He finished the 2021 season with 65 receptions, 702 receiving yards, and four touchdowns. In his first season in 2020, he ended with 17 receptions for 114 receiving yards and one touchdown. The other wide receivers expected to join the CU Buffs by fall camp are senior Vanderbilt transfer, Will Shepard, Redshirt freshman, TCU transfer, Cordell Russell, and true freshman, Cameron Michael and Draylon Miller. You weren't afraid to go across the middle. You blocked your butt off. You was tough. I hated to play against you. I couldn't sleep at all at night. But we had battles, man. That was it, like, it was it was the ultimate. Right. And I remember the night before, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep either. Because I was thinking about prime time. What all, I got to do against all the All the sheets Sanders. was off my bed. <laughs> when the housekeepers came in, they thought some wild went on in there. It was nothing but a bad night's sleep. <laughs> it was a bad night, night, a baby. Bad night's it sleep. was a nightmare. But it was a respectable battle because I respected you. You always came over to shake hands after the game. And I had love for you, man. But The thing is, I always worked. Yeah. I never got complacent. Even at practice. I respected the game. Now watch the move by Rice. This is called stop and go. If he finds the open hole, now Sanders to his top shoulder and stop, throw him by. Doesn't get any better than that. Where he has really improved has been in his tackling. In years past, he would rely on speed and just try to hold on to you. But what's happened is he's honed his skills, and now what he's doing is making the play instead of just trying to make the play. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to wait for the guy to clear right at the top, right there, French over. Watch him clear now. Come back underneath. He'll make the first man miss, Tracy. Now watch him wax him. Deion Sanders with a good hit. Rice pirouette right here. Make the first man miss. Get as much as you can. A good stick by Deion Sanders. And he's going deep for Rice. What a catch! Over Deion Sanders at Dandy. This is nothing but speed on speed off the top. Now let's kick it into high gear. Jerry wants it right off the line of scrimmage. Ball's in the air. Could not have been thrown better. It was a very intense rivalry. 
is something you don't get over because if you care about something that you shouldn't be able to just get over it just like that that's the incentive for you the next year but he douses this fire Rice working up the field now watch him come to the top of your screen with the break he had the benefit of sitting back and playing everything in Garibach for Rice incomplete well covered that's Deion a, Sanders right with him. That's the one everyone was looking for. This is what you want to see. This is just man to man. There's no double coverage. There's no zone. There's no safety in the middle to help you. Jerry Rice gets a step on him, raises his hand, but there's no one with better catch up speed in all of football than number 21. Here, Weaver, number 10, Colorado. And a boy can fly. Watch this film. He's a lot faster than four or five. I would say a comp. Robbie Anderson, speed-wise, where he can run, just flat-out run. Robbie can run, too. I, I think sometimes with guys this fast, they kind of just say, hey, do you. Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. And so sometimes he can, it, it can, he can be put in a box that says he can't run this route, he can't run that route. Now, I made that statement earlier with Troy Franklin, but there are routes that he, that Troy just didn't run. What routes do some of these guys who are deemed fast guys, what routes do they run and what routes do they avoid running? I had the opportunity to talk to Coach Prime about Weaver. He said, man, he's a Steve, he's a dog. He, he, he really is a dog. I never switched up, no change in me. The only thing changing this season, you go against me, then you know that you tweaking, okay? Cause baby, I'm him. I be on 10. Two-stepping in the party, I do not dance. Watch how I move, make it look easy. Counting up wins, that's part of the plan. Black man taking up my head as a CC. That can't fail. I'm gonna get the reason for repeat. I'm knee deep, need a dub, best that you seek me. I'm too sick, yeah, I know I make it look easy. Easy, 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 yeah. Tell him don't try to play me. Yeah, 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 I'm drippy on the daily They can never count me out, they can never count me out, I know They can never count me out, they can never count me out, I know I Make it look easy, make it look, make it look easy I know make it look, I Make it look easy, make it look, make it look easy I know I Make it look easy, too smooth I make it look easy I know we make it look easy Make it look, make it look, make it look I know Love, I shoot my shot, better play up Make it look easy, that's a layup. Ugh. Bad man, bad man. Why they wanna be like me, a sad man? Too wavy, swallow your pride. All of my guys, call them they slide. They will oblige. <laughs> Caught them, I told them you playing with me. Now look, all of them starting to riot. Whoa, huh. When I'm in your city, it's magic. When I'm all in my bag, it gets tragic. When I see what I want, gotta have it. I can't let up, they made me a savage. I can't slow down my foot on the gas, yeah. Going way up from where I was last year. I'ma make it look easy, that's it. I know God got me, ain't got my back. These blessings falling in my lap. I came up, give it all I had. Rep my city, put them on my back. Hit my shots. It's Tom Brady, he won a few Super Bowls. And Sanders throwing on the move. Weaver breaks a tackle, gets to midfield and inside TCU territory for gain of 12. Hit at the 45. Sanders all day to throw the football. Guns it underneath. Caught. Well done as Xavier Weaver breaks it back and gets inside the TCU 15-yard line. I tell you, this Colorado team is not afraid test so far. Third down, Shadour Sanders reverses his field, buys time, stops, starts, looks, fires, and caught for first down at the 35, pointing to 76 yards. Sanders goes deep once again. This time it's caught. Xavier Weaver.